All right, hey guys. Um, today we're going to be doing a different video. We're going to be doing my white system that I have set up um, with the Cisco phones. You have seen it in a couple of my system tests, like the 11th and the 12th, like because I was making test pages for the Fire Alarm system. You can go check those out. We're gonna go in depth with this system that I have made. So this is probably gonna be a little series, like right, this video is gonna be the overview as you read in the title of the PBX. I'm using free PBX, by the way. And I'm gonna do some other videos that are like in depth of each phone specifically and its features. I have the SPA, which will be in one video, the um, 7970, and another phone that you might have saw, uh, you might have seen, which was the 7941. You'll see that on, on an individual video like featuring itself, you kind of get what I mean. Um, you'll see it in the future. But right now we're just going to be doing how Free PBX is working with these phones and you know, calling back and forth and whatnot. And you know, yeah. All right, so we have these two phones um, real fast. You have, this is extension 110 by the way, and this is 100, it's hard to see. This is the Office extension. So this is extension 110, that is 100. That is an office phone that stays in my home office. And this is the basement extension. And you can see right here, it says Office 100. Um, this one has the correct time and date. For some reason, this one's an hour off. I have to fix that. I didn't notice that. Anyways, um, right now I have, this one has eight line keys and I have all, um, Speed dials set up right now, and this one has two lines, pagers, so it can receive pages, and that's its traditional line. On this phone, I have two lines for the same extension, and a BLF um, speed dial. So you're gonna see that phase between basement and 110, and if I were to pick up this phone and dial something, you will see that just turns to red saying that this extension is busy. So if I hang up, this should go back to green. And this works as a speed dial. And when it's ringing, it blinks like that. Um, also, if it, this phone is ringing and no one's here, you will see it blinking on here. And if you want to, you can press that blinking light and answer the call going to here, here. You kind of get what I mean. Um, I can't demonstrate that right now because I only have two phones. I need three. In the free PBX software, there is voicemail. Um, it has the speaking clock, um, intercom, paging. Uh, I'm probably going to say I'm a lot. There's a lot of features, okay? There's wake-up call hotel style. I'll demonstrate that in a bit. And yeah. In my system, I have three paging groups. I have page all, which is down here. I have overhead paging and phone only paging. And intercom is a little different. Intercom is, on, it's just basically automatic answer on the other extension, which I can demonstrate right here. If I dial an O in front of 110, I have it set up differently like that. It would automatically pick up. So if I press pound to dial, this automatically answers, and now I can, I can speak, speak through, through this, this phone, phone, and this person can, can speak back, and I can hear them. It's, it's a two-way conversation, but it just automatically answers. So if I want to intercom this phone, I have it says um, the speed dial. That would be eight. Start pound 80. Pound. Start 80, 100. And that was smart of me. And it automatically answers like that. And we can have a two-way conversation and this person can be pick up. So that's basically intercoming. It's nothing too special. So if you just want to make an announcement to one person and hear them say, like, okay, or acknowledge it, you can just intercom them. If you are searching for a person, for example, you can use paging. So I will do an all call, which will use... The overhead paging which I have set up and this just automatically down it would use the overhead paging and this phone so I'll do an all call to demonstrate that 
May I pay attention, please? We need this person to the front. We need this person to the front. Thank you. Hear that from this phone, but it was going through this phone and the overhead paging in this room. So let's say you park a call and you want that person to dial that parking lot number, you can make an announcement that way. And parking will work too, and that'll be later in this video. Um, next up is just overhead paging, because we're doing paging now. That'll be this number. You'll hear the, um, you'll hear the tone go off, and then you can speak into the, the phone, and it will be announced around. May your attention, attention please. please. This, this is, is only a test. test. Thank, Thank you. you. So there you heard me make the page and hang up. Um, valet paging, which is where, you know, you make the page, you hang up, and then it is sent out. That's in the um, paging pro. You have to pay for that module um, as much as that's cool. Anyways, paging works on this phone too. So if I just, I'll do the phone only page to demonstrate this phone. So I have paging only set up to that extension. Frank, please call 111. Frank, 111. Thank, Thank you. you. So you can make your page like I did randomly and hang up. And that will just go to phones only, not the entire overhead. That's how my system is set up anyways. So let's move on to something else. Another feature, call forwarding does work on this phone. So if I want to call forward to 110, calls are forwarded. I can't test that because I don't have a third phone here. But it I did test it before. Um, it does go straight to this phone if you dial this extension. And you can just press call forward again and it goes away. Do not disturb also works. So if I do not disturb this phone and I dial the office, the person at extension it goes straight to um one zero voicemail. Same the other way. But on this phone, do not disturb is a little different. It just mutes the ringer basically. You will still see the call blinking on the line key, but it's not gonna blink here or ring. So if I dial 110, it's just gonna blink here and show up here. Nothing else is gonna happen. Okay. That's basically how it works. There are features like iDivert and stuff like that. I don't have that set up. So yeah. All right, so next up, we're gonna demonstrate parking a call. So basically parking a call means if this person calls here and they wanna to speak to one person specifically and that person's not at their desk or something, um, you can put that call on hold, but in like the system, not on your phone. Cause a normal hold just, it stays on your phone and you can return to it whenever you feel like. Parking puts into the system and you can answer the call from any phone just by dialing a two digit number. So let's demonstrate that real fast. So if I just paid or called basement extension, I answer that. These two are on a call right now. He asked for, I don't know, John. And then you just transfer it to, um, my parking extension right now is 70. Seven, one. It's gonna say seven, one, you press transfer and now this person is on hold. So now you can make your little page saying for that person to come pick it up. John, please dial 71, John 71, park call. Now let's say I'm John now and I just go to any phone, dial 71, and now I'm connected to this call. So that's just basically how call parking works. Um, my system, that's how my system is set up. Um, I'm sorry if this is not really interesting, but um, yeah. All right, so now we're just gonna do some call features and stuff of free PBX. So like the feature keys, which is like star 60, for example. So we're gonna do some stuff like that. So first we have the speaking clock, which is star 60, dial. At the sound of the tone, the time will be exactly 10, 20, one, and zero seconds p.m. And there you go. It's, it's pretty accurate. Um, yeah. So it, that's just nothing special about that. It's just a clock. Um, 
you saw the intercom key, which was star 80, and then you put your extension. I'll do that again. And now these two are intercom. Um, I do have a dial plate on this, so like if I dial something, it's gonna automatically dial or not when it. I do have a dial plate on it, so if I dial something random, it's gonna automatically call it. Phew. You're gonna notice. All right, so some other features can be star 43, I think it is. You are about to enter an echo test. Um, this In is this an echo mode, test, which everything shows- Everything you say will be repeated uh, back to you just as soon as it is received. The purpose of this test is to give you an audible sense of the latency between you and the machine that is running the echo test application. You may end the test by hanging up or so by So that's basically what it is. Key. It's just gonna echo everything you say back, as you can hear. The latency is just a touch, I'd say, but it's not bad at all. So I can just hang up this call. Um, there are a lot more features on FreePBX, but like there's also stuff like a wake-up call, which I'll demonstrate. So there's stuff like wake-up calls, like his hotel style, you to their time, AM or PM, and it would just ring back basically saying snooze or not, or cancel. Um, I would demonstrate that, but it's glitching out because I keep putting in a one minute after 10, 40, uh, like 1025, for example, and it keeps skipping over the AM or PM, and it's putting it as AM, so I'm like, all right, whatever. Um, other than that, that's basically it for the basics of my system. Almost everything is configured, except for outbound and inbound. I cannot call out with this system. I do not have a trunk connected, so it's all just internal for right now. Um, other than that, if you have any questions or have any requests, leave it down in the comments or, any, or yeah, just leave it in the comments, I'll respond. Um, and stay tuned for an in-depth look for each of these phones, because for, especially for this one, I got some cool stuff. Um, this one is pretty good. I really recommend this one for starters. And yeah, you're going to see that soon. Other than that, I'll see you next time, and stay safe during the quarantine.